Honhai has negotiated a deal with the U.S. state of Wisconsin to scale back its investment project in the state. The deal, which still has to be approved by the state's business agency, provides for a smaller investment and reduced tax breaks. Honhai's chairman said the firm planned to adjust its business plan for the Wisconsin facility, but he didn't specify the changes. Honhai first announced its Wisconsin project in 2017, and the facility remains largely unbuilt. Back in 2017, Honghai announced a 10 billion U.S. dollar manufacturing complex project in Wisconsin. After clearing a string of hurdles, Honghai finally signed an MOU for the project. But according to U.S. media reports, the new governor of Wisconsin, Tony Evers, and Honghai have agreed to restructure the deal, scaling down the project and lowering the tax credits. I wouldn't say it's being scaled back. It is just being adjusted due to industry requirements. Originally, we were expecting to make liquid crystal display panels there. Those have their own requirements and their own investment plan. According to U.S. media, minor adjustments were made to Honghai's plan after Evers assumed office. Four years ago, the original deal dished up more than $4 billion U.S. billion in government incentives for Honghai to build a $10 billion U.S. dollar LCD panel plant that would create 13,000 jobs. The new deal has industry watchers wondering what the plant will be for now. Our investment plan continues to be in progress. Last time, I mentioned that we've been looking for a suitable local industry to work with. I reported to you then that this industry will likely be electric vehicles. It will likely be an industry in a 3 plus 3 initiative, not one in ICT. Honghai's chairman says renegotiating the deal was crucial to maintaining its partnership with Wisconsin. He said Honghai wouldn't rule out investing in other emerging industries in Wisconsin, such as medical equipment manufacturing. The details of the project will be announced once finalized.